Well, we actually sit in the middle of the North Pacific subtropical gyre, this big whirling uh, system of currents. One of the reasons we established a long-term station north of the island of Oahu was to actually provide a baseline uh, for understanding this uh, ecosystem. What we are doing uh, it, with this project is bringing together the latest and greatest in technology to try and help observe parts of the ocean uh, that were not accessible and to do it in real time. We have the deepest uh, uh, ocean observatory cabled back to shore uh, operating right now in the world. We basically want to extend power and internet connectivity to the seafloor um, so we can plug in other instruments and make long-term measurements and actually support robotic systems uh, down on the seafloor. It's, it's really amazing that here we are 5,000 meters down, three miles down, and we can be basically inferring things about uh, what's happening at the, the surface of the ocean. One of the greatest challenges that I've seen just talking a lot of different research projects is this massive amount of data that they generate. If you go back in time, you see lots and lots of different ways of storing data. Uh, in my lab, I actually have old mainframe nine-track tapes, and they're all falling apart, and they're, they're not archival, especially in some place like Hawaii. Tapes degrade very, very quickly. So we're losing precious data, in some cases, irreplaceable data. So I've been working with Primera for quite a while using their networked uh, DVD burners so that I can leverage that within my lab. But it also occurred to me that because the Blu-ray technology is a sealed technology and technically it's archival, it made a good choice for us to burn our hydrophone data and engineering data to these Blu-rays. And the Primera product actually gave us the ability to actually print right onto the um, label of the DVDs or the Blu-rays so that it's easier to find them, maybe put barcodes, and it gives us the ability to later on um, insert these into a big jukebox so we can keep them online through a robot. All things to help make that data more usable because if you have a blank disc just sitting on the, on the table or on a bookshelf, what's on it? It takes a lot of time to go and figure out what's on it. By putting the metadata right up on top through the printer, it gives us a faster way of sorting through our data and actually using it. The Primera is completely automated. I can set up complete jobs with descriptions of what I want printed on it, what I want burnt to it, even what formats. I can burn video, I can burn audio, I can burn data. Um, the flexibility of the system has been unparalleled for all the equipment that I've searched for over my career. Even in the short amount of video data we collected, we found more activity than expected and, and we've been able to catalog different species. It, it's something new, it's, it's new data. We really haven't looked at, at this kind of data before over such a long time period. So we expect to find things that you know, we, we don't know now.